a lot of us get ourselves fed up at behavior. And so I wanted to start off talking about this for you all is behavior isn't the problem. See, we, we look at behavior and we think, oh, well, I, why do I act this way? Or why, do, why does he act this way? Why does she act this way? Why do I do that? And, and we ask, we go, why am I not doing the things I need to do? Because the truth is, if there's something that you want, there's a direct line to get it. Yes. Hey, Ash, just so you jumped on, there's usually a direct line to have what it is you want. There's normally a direct action. But the truth is, is a lot of times we find ourselves taking all these other actions. For example, a direct action we want to create is a life of freedom and a business that does what matters most. And then we find ourselves continually going to personal development events, right? Th those aren't the same action as much as, as anyone tries to convince us that they are, right? Or we, we're wanting to, you know, to start a relationship and, and all, all as we do is, you know, watch Netflix and sit at home. We're not taking the action, you see? We, the action's what matters. And as soon as we get mad at the action, you know, we go, hey, and, and I'm just seeing these symptoms. It's what I see everywhere. You know, we, a lot of the times people, people want to start a business and the actions they take is not to make sales, right? So they're not making sales, they're doing something else. So can you see that the, the action, the behavior, but sometimes we look at that, we go, there's the problem. It's just not true. It's just not true. Here's why. We will always take the path of least resistance. Type it in, write it down, and own it. Think about this. Energy will always flow in the path of least resistance. So if you see a river running, that is the least resistant for the water to go. Right? Now, if that's the behavior of the water, it's silly for you to try to stop the water try to push the water a different way. Instead, what you'd be smarter is you must change the structure of the riverbed. You could put some concrete blocks in it. You could dig another riverbed. Who's ever done this at the beach, you know, when you're a kid and you dig another one and then you see the water now wants to go this way because it will follow the path of least resistance. This is what's exciting. Sometimes you, you can be fed up trying to change a behavior or change an action, but what you haven't realized is that there's an underlying structure that's causing that behavior to happen. Who's with me on this? And, and so what some people will try to tell you, well, the only way to change the structure is you must make this way more painful, <laughs> you know, make this more painful, this more pleasurable, change the structure. And yes, that will work. It's one of our processes to do that. Uh, but I want to talk about uh, other things here. So it's not just physical structures, is it? It's not just physical structures. We will always take the path of least resistance. Always. We will always take the path of least resistance every single time. Every human being will. Your customers will as well. By the way, it's a big question. How do I make my product the path of least resistance? It's a very big topic, and, I, and I'm skimming across the top of this. But the path of least resistance is a natural law. All, all of the universe will always take the path of least resistance. And even invisibleness, even things that are not visible, there is still a structure and the, we will still take that path of least resistance. It doesn't have to be physical things. Wherever there's resistance, we will move around it. And, and how do I know this to be true? Well, we know this with like a magnetic force field. We know we can change a field and it can change the shape of water. We know that we don't have to physically see it for it to actually be a structure. Does that make sense? Actually to be a structure. And so because of this is true, and just let me know, type in a true if you know they will always take the path of least resistance. In fact, that's how electricity works. The only reason it doesn't go outside the wires is just it's least resistance to go down a copper wire. Okay, the path of least resistance is everywhere. And you and I also take the path of least resistance. And so the key thing here is to understand that any structure has integrity. Now, you are a structure. You have you, that's now. You have you in the future and then you in the past. Okay, so you have you now, you in the future, you in the past. You're a structure, and the structure 
is taking the path of least resistance. But where's that going? And where did it come from? Because you could spend a lifetime trying to heal things. But if you don't change the underlying structure, the structure will just recreate it, recreate it. And I want you to imagine that trying to change a behavior and keeping the structure the same is literally like trying to see that river, trying to stop the river with your bare hands. It's absolutely crazy, yet we see it everywhere. We see it everywhere and no one has this conversation. Who's never heard the, this conversation before unless it's been with my staff? It, it, it's not out there, right? They say, oh, you need to do this behavior. You need to do this behavior. You need to do this. You need to do this behavior. You need to do this behavior. You need to change this. You need to do this. You need to take this pill. And then the structure of their life is still the same. So what is, what is this? And, and what is it that the resistance is trying to get to? because tension seeks resolution. Well, so the key is, is that a human being is always trying to have survival, okay? Your, your unconscious brain is always looking for survival. And so what it's doing is it's asking itself consistently, what is the path of least resistance to survival? Does this make sense? What is the path of least resistance that is gonna allow me to survive? Now, as you'll know, as we have memories from before conception, they might not be a voice memory, but we still have a memory, an emotional memory. We have memories from zero to four and then from four till now, three distinct memories. And the truth is, is a lot of times the structure that we've created that seeking path of least resistance was created a long, long time ago. See, as a child, you very quickly needed to figure out how does the world work? How does this world work? What goes on in this world? How does, what's true? You had no idea. And so you look to your parents, right? And action speaks louder than words. And you look to your parents and they became your model of what was true, right? Because they had survived. They were there. And they very quickly helped you learn what was true. And they showed you how to ensure your survival. They put microphones on four-year-olds and they left them alone for a week. The study found out over 85% of what a child is taught and told is no, don't do that. Told off, no. It was negativity everywhere. 85% of what our parents tell us before the age of four is things we should avoid, things that we should stop. And so what happens, right? As a, as a youngster, we look at, look at our parents and we, we're hearing, you know, how does this world work? We know that, that we want to survive and we're asking ourselves, well, what's the easiest way to make sure we do that? And we start to make decisions. Who's with me right now? We start to form structures in our mind of what it is between here's my now Here's where I've been, here's my future. We create structures that ensure survival, true? And so what happens is we start planting these structures in our brain as what's safe, you see? And then what we do is that structure holds true for the rest of our life. Who's with me on this? The structure holds true. And it doesn't seem to matter what it is we do, that structure's always there. And if we go too far out of it, it pulls us back. If we don't, if, if we get too close to the negative, it pulls us forward, but we're in this structure and we'll only allow ourselves to have little, little moments outside that structure before we're back in it. The path of least resistance and the underlying structure. No, no, not unless you, you notice it and change it, Peter, right? Not unless you notice it and shift it. See, the, the reason why I'm having this conversation is I want us to all realize that don't, don't beat yourself up if you take the wrong action. Is that okay? Don't, don't get mad. Hey, I'm not taking the right action. I'm not making enough sales. Or I, I get scared when I start a business. Or I have a fear on camera. Don't worry about what shows up in the action. Just realize is that we have a structure. Yeah, part of it, Mary asked, is our structure our beliefs? Well, part of it is beliefs. Beliefs is going to create the structure that's a path of least resistance. I want you to think about yourself as that river, that flowing energy. And I want you to think about you're your a river. 
And you're going to take whatever path is least resistant to your survival. Type in a yes if you're getting this. No, yeah, I know. I got a bit, but it was a, it was a good it was a good point. It was a good point. That's the key here. Is that I want to look at structure and, and how the structures are in our life because your structure will create your reality more than anything. Because structure is what and what I mean by structure. Think about different structures. When you walk through a supermarket, they make you walk a certain way because they put physical structures in place, right? Well, that's the same with you walking forward in your life is this, this actual structures of what's possible and what's not possible. And you take the most least resistant. And the question you have to ask yourself, where'd you get that from? Well, where you likely got it from is, is mainly from you because you can have one or two or three different children in the same family who get told the same things, make up their own stuff, right? So a lot of it is yours. In fact, most of it is stuff that you've just chosen. You've just decided it to be that way. Because what happens is we start off and we have these, these adults. And as children, we kind of think adults know everything. And as adults, isn't that funny? <laughs> to realize just how little we know. <laughs> and However, as children, we just think, you know, adults, you know, they can cook, they can look after us, they can fix things, they can protect us, they can pretty much do everything. And so at the beginning, we just start listening, everything that they say, don't do this, do this, don't do this, do this. And then it starts getting eroded, you know, it's that this trust of what they say gets eroded, you know, for example, uh, your mother might say to you, every time you're lying, I can tell because you've got a blue tongue. And, and then one time you tell the truth and she says, poke out your tongue. She says, see, look, it's blue. I know you're lying. And you go, no, I'm telling the truth. And so you start eroding some of these beliefs or changing your own decisions, or you realize that they were lying about Santa Claus. So what else might they be making up? And you start thinking and making up your own stories. And so what happens is, is you set up a defined structure. And we will always take the path of least resistance. And so today I wanted to talk about shifting some internal structures because wouldn't it be great? Wouldn't it be great if the action that you needed to do was just easy? What if it was easier to make the phone call? They're not. What if it was easier to make money than not? What if it was easier to stand on stage and be the comedian you're supposed to be? What if it was easier? What if it was easier to, to do the actions? Because here's the truth. You're always taking an action. Even inaction is an action. And so what if you could set up and create underlying structures that just meant you just took the action in the exact way that you needed to. This is one of the things I noticed about the billionaires that I got to spend time with. They didn't have to make up stories. They didn't have to pump themselves up. They didn't have to do work. They just did it. This is who I am. This is what I'm doing. That was it. They did it. There was no stuff. There was nothing in the way. They just did it. And because they just did it, then things manifested because there was nothing in the way. They just they just were it. So structure is very, very, very important. Some people say to me, they go, hey, Chris, um, you know, I don't like structure. I like flow. That's a structure. It's a structure of never bothering to commit to anything because the disappointment of it not succeeding is, is too hard or it's, it's still a structure. See, the most flow you can ever get is by creating a structure that just pulls you to where you want. That's the most flow. That's the most flow. That's when you're in charge, not just getting blown around. See, I see someone, a lot of people, they say, oh, no, Chris, I just want flow. And they just, they, they, they're saying that, but the, the underlying thing is they're just not, they're just not choosing what they really want. They don't actually want flow. What they want is to easily create what it is they want to create. Does that make sense? Type in a yes if you get that. Because I know that when people say to me, just let me know. They go, hey, I want flow. And I'm like, actually, you don't. You don't. What you want is just to have what it is that you want to have in the easiest, fun way possible. So let's just make that happen. Let's not worry about this, this other thing about not, not having discipline and not doing what needs to be done because it's just not true. <laughs> yeah, could be, could be.
All right, cool. So I'm excited about this process and I, and I want to go through it with you guys about helping you to define and, uh, and to change some different structures and to, and to actually allow things to happen a lot easier. So the first thing I want to ask all of you is to choose an area of life that you want to work on. Is it um, business? Is it sales? Is it mindset? Is it money? Is it relationship? Something. Just choose an area. Okay. And just, you have to write it in, but just choose an area that you think, you know what? I might want to create something different in there. Um, an area that you feel that you feel like the, the actions you're taking are not in alignment with what it is that you actually want. Okay. So, so choose something where you kind of feel like there's something in your way. A lot of people, they have a structure that can never be pushed through. They always say, well, Chris, it feels like there's something in my way. Like, I'm not scared of the action. I'm just not doing it. There's some, it's not me. I'm not in the way. There's something in the way. And it's, and it's causing me just not to take the action. There's a, some people call it procrastination, but, but I don't like that word. It's just a different action. It's an action of, of going a different way. And, and, and so just, just choose. Just choose for me an area. And here, has everyone got one? Cool. So the question that, that I, I want to ask is, what's the, what is it that you really want to create in that area? And I'll get you to type this in. Just, a, just an outcome. What is something you'd like to create? What is something you'd like to create in this area? Abundance. Yeah, cool. Nice. Abundance. Decisiveness, freedom, nice. <laughs> Are you just messing with me, Linda? Linda's, Linda's typed in flow. What does that mean? No, you're not messing me. What, what, is it, what is it that it means? Because my question is, is I've, oh, flow and freedom, I can see freedom in here as well. Uh, are two things that that I always see as warning signs. So my question is, is freedom, well, what do you mean you want to try to create freedom? See, freedom to me is something like, you can have that now. You can have that now. There's no, there's nothing to do. Flow, if you're trying to create flow, again, flow to me might mean something different to you. But when I hear people say that they want flow, what they're really trying to say is that they want, they want to, they just want to have what they want to have without having to struggle. Does that make sense? So like both of those words to me um, feel like there's an away from, like they're actually not a positive. So versus someone who say, I want abundance, you know, that's a, that's a direct thing that they want. So my question here is what is it that you truly want? Because, you know, flow doesn't seem like it. And freedom is, is freedom from what is the question. Right. So anyway, just just a couple of things to think. So what is it that you you really really want? Cool. Ah, well, good for you. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So here's my next question. Compared to that, where are you now? Compared to that, where are you now? So compared to that goal in that area, where are you now? Type it in. Let me know. So compared to that, where are you now? You must always create structural tension. Where do, what do I want to have? Where am I now? If you don't create this, you're not actually creating the right structure, right? This is actually how you create the right structure. Do you see that? That's what creates a structure. Some people aren't typing in. It's okay to type in. You can just send it to me. I won't read it out. Yeah. All right, cool. So you've decided what it is you want, and now you've talked about where you are now. Fantastic. Good. There you go. I want to have six figures. And right now I'm not making 10 yet. Yeah, no, that's, that's all good. That's all good. Scared that my decisions will be the right one. And, and it's actually changing as we speak. Yeah, good, good. It will, it will, it will. Difficult, hard. I want abundance. Now it's difficult, hard. Okay, good. So you need to set up both ends, right? The next question I have is, is to ask, okay, so what's the actual problem? That's all I want to ask. And I want you to type in what comes up from you. 
what's the actual problem? What's the problem? What's the specific problem? What's the specific problem that you're here, you want to be there, so what's the problem with that? Okay, good. Fear of what? Loss of what? <laughs> this, feels, this feels like a, a detective game. <laughs> fear of being too busy and not coping. Yeah, fair enough. The government royal commission into banks. Okay. That's what's, that's what's stopping it. That's what's stopping your abundance. Okay. Okay. So is everyone done? Wow, you can play with me, that's fine. But this is actually a really good process. <laughs> What's really in the way? What's really stopping you? So I'd love everyone to type in if you are doing this. And half of you aren't, so I'm not sure if you're writing it down or, or what. Just type in a yes if you're doing it, but not writing in, just so I don't keep thinking they're not listening to me. Ah, there we go. All right, good, 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 good. I'll stop picking on you then, Ed. Cool. So I want you to have done three things. What do I want? Where am I now? And then what's the problem? So here's the big thing. I want you to acknowledge that you've created this. I want you to acknowledge that this is your creation. And the way I want you to acknowledge this is I want you to ask yourself, what benefit does this creation give me? And you might need to close your eyes and ask it a few times. What benefit does this creation give me? Here's the creation. I want to be here. I'm here. And there's this problem. What benefit has this creation given me? Yeah, so I want to continue to gain confidence. So, so that's, there's a softening word in there that you've used to try to pretend that you, you kind of already have it. So just, just write it solid because you need to have solid starts and finishes. I want confidence, but what I really want is to make myself proud. You see, that true thing that you really want. But what's stopping me is the fear of not knowing, fear of failure, not being good enough. It's safe sense of safety, a comfort zone. Who's struggling acknowledging that they created this? <laughs> good, good. It's all you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So the next question is, what is it designed to achieve? So this creation, like why, like what is it designed to achieve? Why have you created this problem? Why have you created that you're not there? What, what, what are you trying to achieve by this? Just type it in. Just answer the question. What are you trying to achieve by creating this? Keep you safe. Yeah, nice. Not being seen. Not being judged. Nice. Safety. A comfort zone. Safety. Sense of safety. Listen to how many people have written safety. It's safe, fear of failure, not being good enough, comfort zone, safety, safety, not being seen, not being judged, keep me safe. So what's it designed to achieve? Last question, what's the payoff? How did, what's the payoff of creating this? What's the payoff of creating this? And, and what I want you to do is I want you all who are doing this session with me, to write this down, okay, so I'll do, I'll do one. And this is the statement that I want you to do. So I created a fear of failure and not being good enough to keep myself safe. I want you to state it in, in the positive about how you created it and you did it and it's all yours, okay? So what you are, I, so I, Chris Duncan, created a fear of failure 
and uh, not wanting to, and not being good enough to keep myself safe. And I'm really happy about it. <laughs> but you are because on a subconscious, unconscious level, you've created this and you are happy about it because it was your it's your structure that you have created. So go ahead, type that in, <laughs> type it in and own it. Own it. Type it in. Not one of you have typed it in yet. I created problem to do this. There's magic in owning the structure. I create the fear of failure to be keep safe and I'm happy about it. You got the same as me. <laughs> what the rest of you, what's the rest of you? Yeah, it's good. I think I was reading your one out, I think. Own it, own what you've created. I created, I created fear of failure. To keep myself safe, yeah. Because once you really look at your creation, so one thing that I created is I created I created myself to be a workaholic so I could avoid ever getting there because it's because it wasn't it wasn't ever safe to actually be successful create a fear of failure keep myself safe been asking you i've been asking me this for six months what have you been asking why did you create it I'm, i've missed the question mary yeah well you tell me ask yourself those questions why am i creating this what is it designed to achieve? What is the payoff? Why did I create it? What was the benefit? Yeah. Thanks, Kate. Got it. Absolutely. Deborah asked, can you always answer that? Yeah. What? What? What am I creating? So you ask yourself, what am I creating? And what's the payoff here? By the way, let me know who's already feeling a sense of freedom just by owning that they created it. You, we created it, right? Yeah, we created it. It was us. We're no victims. We created it. It was a bloody good creation. Awesome. I created a, a, a sense that I, a belief that I would always get overwhelmed uh, so that I would, I would never push myself and, you know, stay safe. And so the, the question to ask yourself, did you, are you back with us, Mary? I think so. I, I'm getting lots of, um, lots of notice. Yeah, but you caught up to the, where the process is, right? So you, you can write it in. Yeah, well, if it's all right to be thinking. Yeah, so, so what is it that you, you know, what benefit did it give you? That's the big thing. And then when you write that statement, there's power in it. Because said, I did this. I created this. Me. No one else. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't because my family's a certain way. It wasn't because I need fear, uh, healing. It wasn't because, you know, in the past life I was this or I was that, which could all be true. But here's what's also true. Those could all, all be true. It's also true that you chose to do it this way because that's what this lifetime is about. No, that, no, what's it, what's it saving you from? It's not, it, you don't want to be resilient. So, so, so me right and just made me more amazing being resilient. No, like here's the thing is you want to be here, have abundant. Okay, so you're saying, I want to be abundant and I'm over here and I'm, you know, I'm working really hard. I'm not getting anywhere. And then what's, what's stopping me? You know, what's really stopping me? You go, well, what's the problem? What's stopping me? And you go, well, what's really stopping me is this. 
And so, so Mary, tell them what is stopping you? What is that? What is that stopping you? So you want to have abundance. You're here. What's stopping you? I know what it is. It's I always have to get it right. I have to be perfect. I have to get it right. That's what it is. Yeah. Is it true? What's stopping me is I have to get it right. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And so that's what's stopping you is you have to get it right. And so then you've got to ask yourself, well, what benefit does me always having to get it right give me? Well, if I always have to get it right, then I'm going to be over here. I'm going to be thinking a lot. I'm going to be procrastinating. I'm going to be planning. I'm going to be really smart. I'm going to do all these things. But it's going to keep me. It's going to keep me over here. It's going to keep me safe. So I created this. Yeah, you've written it. So Mary wrote in, uh, getting it right is making money. No, it's not. I mean, failures make money. See, I, we can pull that belief apart. And so that belief is the problem, is that I have to get it right to make money. No, you don't just have to pay someone or employ someone who gets it right. You know, it's not about that. You see? And so you ask yourself, well, why did I create this? Why did I create this belief that I have to get it right? Why did I create this belief that I have to be perfect in order to have abundance? Crazy. Crazy our psychologies are. And all of us have this. You know, I'm not being critical of that at all. <laughs> you know, all of us find ways to create structures for us to survive in this world. Does that make sense? And we just created them. So at some point, you know, Mary, your structure that you created was I've got to get things right, probably because someone told you off if you got things wrong, and then someone praised you when you got things right. So you decided in your mind, you have to get things right. Getting it right is safe. Or maybe they didn't do that at all. Maybe that was just the example that was set. And so you made the structure up. So let's look at that and, and ask ourselves, if I have to be right, all the time to get this, what's going to happen? Well, the, the payoff of having this belief is I'm always going to be planning. The payoff of having this belief, and let's not blame it. Here, here's who created it, Mary. You did. <laughs> you created it. And that's when we own it. Who's getting this today? Because it's a big session. So we own it. We say, I created this. I made this this way. It's, it's mine. And I did it because I wanted to stay safe. I wanted to survive. And so I created this structure. Type in a yes if everyone's with me. Yeah, oh, it's not even that you attracted it. You just chose it. Awesome. I love this. And so now you've got to ask yourself, what do you really want? What do you really want? Because you've set this structure up and now you've looked at it. Okay, now you've looked at it. Now you've owned it, and now you've said, I created it. So now what you get to do is you get to create a shift. So what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want? Type it in. What is it that you really, truly want? What is that? What is it you really, truly want to create? Abundance. To take massive action with ease and excitement. Choices. Fantastic. That's what you really want. Can you all see that what you actually wanted before wasn't that? So, so I'll use Mary because we've been talking about you. So your choice was abundance before, right? And over here you're in frustration. And the problem was you had to be perfect to have it. You see, it had to be perfect to have it. I had to get it right to have it. And so the truth is, is half an hour ago, what did you really want to be right? That's what you really wanted. You really wanted to be right and for that to give you abundance. 
Does this make sense, everyone? That's what's happening behind there. See, what a lot of us wrote down is uh, what we really wanted was to be safe. That was actually more important. Type in the yes if you're getting it. What the problem was before was actually more important. Let me know. Yes, good. A few people are getting it. Anyone stuck on this? Because we're about to move into the last piece of it. Type in the yes if you're with me so that I know that those are here live are getting this. Because it's big. It's not. This isn't trivial. This isn't small. This is big. Awesome. So then when I ask, what is it that you really want? What is it that you really want? And, and, and Mary says, well, abundance. Okay, well, let's just choose to have abundance, you see, rather than having to be right to have abundance. See, there could be a million different ways that you're blocking yourself for abundance. It could show up in a business partner. It could show up in a fluke. It could show up in lottery. Can you think of all the ways abundance could show up? That doesn't mean that you have to be perfect or right. Win the lottery. You could have someone just donate money to you, a business partner. Uh, you could just fluke it. In fact, you could even get it wrong, and that could turn out to make you lots of money. It could be that you got it wrong, but getting it wrong was actually what ended up making the money. There's so many ways, true? And so instead of choosing to have to get it right, let's just choose the end result. Let's just choose the end result. And that's what we're going to finish on a little meditation, choosing the end, the true result, the true result. So shall we do it? Because this is how you create a new structure. Your old structure was created a long time ago. The old structure was I've got to be perfect. The old structure was I, I got to, I, you know, I would prefer to not fail than be successful. By the way, a lot of you had that. I prefer to not fail than be successful. So I'm going to choose to do things to not fail than to win. You see, that was the old choice. You see? So what we're going to do is we're going to choose an experience and we're going to make a new decision. A new decision based on what it is we really want. So go ahead when you're ready and just close your eyes and we'll do a little choice in our heads. Quantum jump. Just take a breath. And I just want you to say to yourself, I choose the end result of and then insert what it is. So for Mary, I choose the end result of abundance. I choose that. The rest of you just choose that and just feel it. And just choose it with all of your energy. No reason, nothing else. Just choose that. I just choose abundance. And just feel yourself as you solidly choose it. Experience what it's like to just choose it. What's life like when you just choose this now with no reason, nothing else. You just choose that this is it. This is you. Just choose it. Decide. What's that feeling you get when you've made a decision? You're buying that. You're having that. You're choosing this. It's done. Choose it. Just choose it. And open your eyes and come back. Type in, how did it feel to just choose? Pure choice. How did it feel? Powerful. Yes, it is powerful. It is. You just choose. New structure. It is. 
much lighter. Just choose it. See, the, the thing is, is we're actually not just choosing what it is we want. Almost flippant. Yeah, that's what I'm having. See, we have all these other things. People say, oh, I want to be a speaker. Lord people say, I want to be a speaker. But then they have to do all these other things. Ah, all the, I want to have a business. Well, just choose it. Just have it and trust yourself. Excited, simple. Yes, what else? How was it? See, a lot of times we're actually not choosing what it is we want. We're taking this long road. You see, that's why I get on, on um, the flow people. Where's Linda? That's why I get on the flow people. They don't actually want flow. Flow's like this other way. They actually just want a result, right? They want a life they love. Does that make sense? But they choose this other thing. Well, they say they want free freedom from what? Freedom gets you nowhere. Can everyone see the difference here? There's almost a different sense, a different feeling. So I just want you to choose it. I just want you to choose it. And so here's the question I have for you. Now that you're choosing that, what one action will you do this week as this choice? Did that make sense, Linda? Chuckle worthy, actually, Chris. Like, why have I been so silly for so long? <laughs> yeah, I know. Why have I been so trying to not fail instead of just going for what I want, you know? Oh, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. We, we set up structures when we're three years old that says, in order to survive, I, you know, I can't fail, you know? Yeah. All the top people on the planet we look up to just choose what they want to do. They just go for it. They just go for it. They're not worried. They're going to fail. They do all these other. They just choose it. They're not trying to resolve how they feel scared of failure, all this other bullshit. They just choose it. They just choose. But they don't have to go to an ayahuasca retreat to find spirituality. They just choose spirituality. <laughs> do you guys see the difference here? Anyway, I hope you do because it's big. Once you get it, you'll realize what all the, the, top, the top are doing. Jay-Z doesn't have time to be healing and healing and healing and healing and healing he chooses he does he acts so the question is what action what action are you going to do in uh in alignment it is very very good thanks mary it is it is it is very good <laughs> it is very good 